Hey! I'm Shelly. I'm like so happy because I was like just selected to be the student body president. Now it's my job to plan the most epic back to school party in the history of the school. But first I have to estimate solutions to figure out how many supplies to buy. I just learned how to estimate in third period math. To estimate means to round the number to the nearest place value to make it simpler to work with, but keeping its value close to what it was. We are expecting a crazy number of kids. 210 students. Like, whoa, that's a lot. I want each student at the party to have 9 pizza rolls. 210 times 9. I need to estimate about how many pizza rolls to buy. I don't have time to figure out an exact number, so I will just round to make the numbers easier to multiply. 210 is more than 200, but less than 300. It is closer to 200. Each person should have 9 pizza rolls. 9 is more than 0, but less than 10. It is closer to 10. To estimate, I will multiply 200 times 10. I'll ignore the zeros for now. 2 times 1 equals 2. I need to add back the three zeros from the numbers. That makes 2,000. Wow! 2,000 pizza rolls. I better go to the store, like, now. But first, one more estimation. I want to have 593 party favors to hand out throughout the night. The party favors come in packs of 8 each, so like I need to divide 593 by 8 to determine how many packs to buy. I can round the numbers to make them easier to divide. I want to round to values I know will divide evenly. Since 593 is close to 600 I will round to that value. I know that 600 is divisible by 10 so it makes sense to round the value 8 up to 10. I make that estimate too. These values are much easier to divide. 60 divided by 10 equals 6. Then I just add the remaining 0 to the quotient to equal 60. I will need about 60 packages of party favors. Whoa! That's like a lot! Oh my gosh! I have a lot of purchases to make so I'd better head to the store like now. Bye!